did for my youngest two brothers. On everything, yeah, I put it on my mother. My God said beside me, there is no other. Hey, nice. Fuck niggas trying to hate. Fuck these bitches all in my face, bitch. Alright, welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. Uh, and also fearless leader of the Men 2 movement. Um, all Men 2 members. Um, we on the lookout at the end of this month for a big announcement with our petition and our trip to Capitol Hill. Uh, this is... Are you fucking serious? I gotta put that in there. Um... At this point in time, I've been seeing a video of a um, overweight bitch chasing a Kodak Black on cocaine looking type nigga. Um, she's chasing them through the parking lot, uh, hitting them with combos, uppercuts, right, left, just giving him the um, Adrian Broner. Pacquiao treatment in a parking lot where a lot of people is extremely populated uh, probably after a club she's looking extremely homely aside from her hair her hair was uh, laid as they said laid as a whole say laid and slayed her hair was uh, blowing in the wind but she had on looked like some uh, princess shoes and some type of grandma, you know what I'm saying, still look like, you know what I'm saying, just a nothing ass hoe, just a, like, and y'all gotta understand, when I say a nothing ass bitch, I mean just a bitch that ain't nothing about her different, ain't nothing about her, you know what I'm saying, just another bitch, you can fuck this hoe and go to the next hoe, and it's so easy to just forget this bitch, just a nothing this a nothing. She, you, you can tell. Like, this bitch is chasing this nigga around this parking lot like she's his mama. And he's acting like this is his mama. Because, for all intents and purposes, this is his mother. His mother kicked him out. You can always tell when a nigga has come from a single parent household. Because the first thing a nigga do when he get out the house is try to go find a substitute mama. <laughs> so you get this, you know, uh, unattractive, uh, overweight bitch and uh, with low self-esteem. She got to have low self-esteem. Anybody who pays for sex uh, has low self-esteem, male or female. Give a fuck. Um, you can't have that high. You can't. Your, your self-worth can't be that high if you'll put yourself in that type of position. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for prostitution and shit like that. Um, a bitch who will, and you are, sweetheart, you're buying sex. If you didn't have a house, a car, and you can, uh, uh, feed his drug habit, you know he wouldn't be there. You understand it. Uh, one of the main reasons why you nothing ass bitches will trip at your job if your check is even a day late is because you know that he's waiting on it at the house. He don't got no job. You know what I'm saying? This nigga backwards hustling, trying to sell coke and shit like that, but he don't never got no fucking money. And this, you just so fucking green. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, he was fake fresh when you met him and shit like that. Had some dingy ass white Air Force Ones on with some type of jeans, but you don't know what jeans they wore. They didn't look like... You know what I'm saying? Jeans and shit like that. And a shirt that had a, a, a Tweety Bird or some, a yellow shirt or some shit like that. With the Kodak dyed hair. And you just thought, oh, that nigga probably do the same thing everybody else do. He probably see a dope because nigga move like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got the dope walk, but you don't know if it's the, I sell dope walk or I use dope walk. So if it's the dope walk, oh, he a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, and you got what you got. Um... The nigga ran the game on you, whatever like that, and you so desperate as a fat, I mean, not fat, an overweight, unattractive bitch that you just, you know what I'm saying, whatever, I just want me some at-home dick anyway. So you took the nigga in for his flaws, but I, I got to speak on this before I show you this video. Listen here, for my ladies out there, if you fuck with a nigga, if you meet a nigga, listen to me. If you meet a nigga, 
and his shoes are dingy, dirty. And you give that nigga a real number, you are a nothing ass bitch and there's nothing you can do about it. If you give a nigga with dirty shoes your number, you are a nothing ass bitch. Period, point blank. If you'll stoop that low, if a nigga will come outside with dirty fucking shoes on, and you'll fuck with him, you, dog, real talk, nigga come outside with dirty shoes, you can, you can damn near not, dog, 95% be sure that this nigga has some type of STD. He, he has some form of HIV in some fucking way. You know what I'm saying? A nigga with dirty fucking shoes on, it, it, like shirt all loose and shit like that. So if you will fuck with something like that, bitch, you desperate, you are a nothing-ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? So from that point forward, if a nigga know that you talk to a nigga like that, you cannot be mad at a nigga for approaching you in any kind of manner because a nigga see, you know what I'm saying, how you rocking. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to put that out there, whatever, because this nigga right, like right here, you can tell that she bought him his shit because she... She understood that she looks like a nothing ass bitch for having a dirty nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, try to make it seem like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, I hold my nigga down. That's what they, I hold my nigga down and shit like that. But I, and let me let me let you watch the video and I'm going to tell you why hoes do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hold you down shit. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and watch the video. <laughs> appreciate all the support I'm getting and shit like that, but I truly hate confusion. So, I'm going to kill it right here. February 15th, 6 p.m. Standard Central Time. I will be going live again, but not going live, but not just on IG. I'm going live on YouTube also. If you want to go on a live with me, be on the screen with me, like y'all been asking, it's going to be a $50 charge, and I'll have 10 slots. The order in which you get your slot is the order in which you'll come on the screen. Shut the fuck up! I expect for everybody who come on the screen to have the Are You Serious or Big Facts t-shirt on, representing AO Nation. Um, if you haven't got your shirt yet and shit like that, you already understand what's going on. All the shirts, except for the Men 2 movement, this is the Men 2 um, t-shirt. All the shirts are going for 15. All headwear is going for 10. Uh, if you want to be part of the Men 2 movement, this is the shirt. Yeah, we're going to be wearing, you know what I'm saying, when we do our thing, whatever like that, these are going for 20 and shit. Also, also, at 5 o'clock on February 15th, I'm going to give out the number to this phone. You're going to be able to call in during the live, like, and we're going to talk and shit like that. So we're going to have folks on the screen going live and folks calling in. It's going to be crazy. Obviously, the number's free and all that shit like that. From 5 o'clock to 5.50, the number will be on Instagram at 5.50. I'll take it down. At 6.05 will be the first call I take. We run it. Do it.
I don't give a fuck, dog. I don't give a fuck, dog. First off, let's, let's do it like this. I'm not going to give no bitch no reason to put no... That, that's what I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to give a hoe no reason to put no hand on me, whatever like that. Any hoe, anybody who put their hand on me, whatever like that, you, we're going to get understanding right then and there, physically. We're going to get understanding right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I'm not going I'm not going to put a bitch in a position to do that. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ever going to be in a relationship. We're not in a relationship. Understood. I'm not going to get in a relationship. We're not, I don't give a fuck. I'm not even going to talk to you too much. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to play no, I'm not going to drive none of yours. I'm not going to come to your house. You understand? Shit like this. Let me, let, let, let's, let's break this shit down. I don't need to go into you know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing cute about domestic violence. People die like that. But see, this right here, she, let me tell you something. She did that for a couple of reasons. She did that for one. She's not going to leave him. She's going to stay with him. They're they going to they gonna be together. They're going to be together because he can't afford to go nowhere. You can tell by how he just still, you get his beat and you just, hey, it's all good. It's all good. It wasn't his first time getting beat up. The thing is, she did that not only to bring embarrassment to him so no bitch would want him. Like, look how coward he is. But also, she did it to show any other bitch that if you fuck with him, this is the type of drama you're going to get. We know what this shit was about. You know what I'm saying? A nigga was driving a car, whatever like that. Had another hoe in the car. She probably could have been ran down on him. But she ran down on them when everybody outside, just like your mother could have whooped you at home, but she whooped you on the bus so that everybody could see it. You was acting up on the bus, she whooped you on the bus. You know what I'm saying? You want to show out in front of folks? You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. But, bitch, I'm not your child. But that's so hard to say. It's hard to say, I'm not your child, ho, when she does everything that she does for her son, for you. Sometimes she'll neglect him for you, and you know that. You know that. You know that he's been missing haircuts for the last couple of weeks because she's been giving you money. How do you not know that? When you know she gave you $100, the boy here is growing. He, before, when you, when, before you moved in the house, and started sucking all that shit up. That boy here was getting cut every fucking week. You got the barber calling. Like, hey, uh, what, what, little, what, what little time yet? I ain't seen him in two weeks. Oh, uh, you know, we fell on hard times. What, you got fired? No, you know, it's just a couple personal things. And that, you know, that, that's fucked up when a whole gotta, when a whole gotta explain when she described getting into a new relationship as some personal problems. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that is. Personal issues mean that when hoes call out sick, you know what I'm saying? That's the, the, the whole working McDonald's, she call out sick because she out trying to find the nigga. You know what I'm saying? In her car. You know what I'm saying? Her and her homegirl that teamed up, but they gonna find them. But they, they only reason they wanna find them is so they can find out who the hoe is so they can fight her because she not gonna leave that nigga because that's the, that's the mindset of a nothing ass bitch. A nothing ass bitch will beat her nigga to a pulp, but won't let him leave. Beat him within an inch of his life, but won't let him die. Throw all his shit outside, but won't let him go nowhere. Nothing ass hoes can't let go of nothing ass niggas because... They understand that they're meant for each other. You know what I'm saying? Nothing ass hoes cannot let go of nothing ass niggas because they know that they're meant for each other. That this the only thing that's gonna. You know what I'm saying? This the only thing that works for me. I'm not. She knows she's never gonna get a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That that has his own business or you know what I'm saying? Because no nigga that has anything will want her, and she understands that now. 
And because they don't put any type of um, motivation in a bitch to be anything other than a fucking worker ant. Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. That's all. She'll never shoot for the stars. The, the, the most the whole would do, will, she'll call herself opening up a, a hair salon or an online boutique or some shit like that. Selling, you know what I'm saying, some bullshit with a whole a wholesale shit on Amazon. I swear to God, she got her own business. This is all you see all, all bitches doing as, as a majority. You won't see no whole opening up a fucking, you know what I'm saying. You won't see these things. When you see it, you're astounded. Because it's a one in a million thing. And... It, it, it's so fucking sad that these hoes, nothing ass bitches will fight over a nothing ass nigga. The broke nothing ass nigga, they'll fight over him because they know that that stability, that nigga can't go nowhere. Walk up and down the street, he can't go nowhere. So that is, like, I got me damn near, in my mind, I can pretend I got a husband because we, you we, know what I'm saying, he gonna be here. Them hoes ain't like, and both of them hoes know that. So both of them like, the fuck? Like, none of these big time niggas want me and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't get like, and that's why hoes always looking mean. It's like a defense mechanism. I'm going to look mean like I don't want no nigga. So when no niggas holler at me, it's because I'm mean. I don't want no nigga. That's why you hear him so much. I love being single on Facebook. But a bad bitch, she'll get on Facebook and say, I, I wish I had a boyfriend. And it's all love. But you never hear ugly hoes say that. You'll never hear ugly hoes say nothing as hoes say, I wish I had a boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Unless they saying it in a, a, a very sexual way. I wish I had a boyfriend so I could suck all this nut out of his dick and, and put his dick all in my ass while, while I suck his homeboy dick. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what nothing as hoes say on social media. And then go to the club with no panties and get raped. And then everybody... No, go to the club and fuck a nigga, and then it's it's called rape. Then when I ain't I ain't on it. Um, let's get down to why a hoe will hold a nigga down. She holds you down just for that same reason. Uh, this is a bitch who loves it when you go to jail because that's the only time that she can get you where she wants you to where you don't have no swag. Understand a nothing ass bitch. There's so many things about her. You know what I'm saying? And it's so... it's They're the majority. That's why when... A, uh, I just heard about Gucci Mane, uh, Baby Mama, going to a radio station saying that she lives in Section 8, but this hoe get $2,000 a month. But she blaming Gucci Mane that she lives in Section 8 and the son is 11 years old. The reason why you can do that shit and not be shamed to death is because the majority... Of bitches or nothing ass bitches. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say it. You couldn't go to a white radio station and do that. You would be laughed at and you'll be too fucking embarrassed. But on a black radio station, they'll let that shit ride. She brought a lawyer up that motherfucker, and a radio station for, uh, facilitated the whole fucking thing because it's Gucci Mane. And everybody gets in on the destruction of a black man that has, that's become successful. Everybody gets in on the destruction of a successful black man. When it comes to the destruction of a successful white man, only a few can get in on it. The only motherfuckers that do it is the black men. And white men. You know what I'm saying? But a bitch, she, what she going to do is she going to, you know, she going to show all the love in the world. Understand, my nigga, when you first come in the house, first off, she already read you. Unless you know how to, you know what I'm saying, hide your brokenness and shit like that, she already read you. And if she can't, if she can't read your brokenness, she'll try you. Go somewhere, she'll throw a tune out there just to see how you move with it, whatever like that. When really... The fact that you ain't throw no money out already told her. But in her mind, it might be like, oh, he, he might not think I'm worth it. So she could be, you know what I'm saying, low self-esteem. He might not think I'm worth it. So that's why he ain't throwing it on the table. So now it's over here. So let me throw something out there to show him 
I don't mind. I, money ain't no issue. It's all good over here. You ain't dealing with no gold digger. All right. She, so a nigga, of course, that's a plus. Now, she realized that, you know what I'm saying, all these goddamn car excuses you giving, you know what I'm saying, I know what the deal is. You know? Like, oh, uh, yeah, you know, my homeboy got my car. Oh, uh, yeah, man, you know, the empire of my shit. Oh, uh, man, you know, goddamn... You know what I'm saying? My uncle goddamn out there in the yard, motherfucker. I gave that motherfucker three racks. Motherfucker still ain't came back that goddamn car. Usually I be getting on rental car or whatever like that. But you know what I'm saying? I be trapping so hard. That motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? They didn't got on my back now. So goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I did, I'm just laying low right now. I don't, I don't need no car for real shit. I, I didn't know what I'm saying. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I just trap on my bike for real. Like that, that, that throw them off. See, niggas ain't known that shit. See, I, I play it low. See, ain't nobody gonna know what I got. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I play it low. Oh, that was up, boo. That was up. Uh, shit. Um, if you want to drop me off at work. Oh, uh, shit, yeah. Oh, okay. I go to work. You know what I'm saying? And, it's like, and, and so she just trapped you right there. All that good word and cap that you gave or whatever like that. She just killed that whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So she know you a nothing ass nigga. Just a talking ass nigga. Bam, she didn't gave you the keys to the car. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really, I, I didn't went, I went out of, I, I, I left the timeline because in somewhere in there, you know, some fucking that went on, whatever like that. And that's a very important part. I really shouldn't have skipped over that, but I'm trying to get to the material part right fast. Um, give you the call before she give you the call. You'll be at the house. Um, and a, an important day will be when she gives you a key to the house. Um. She's going to do that as soon as possible because she wants you to know my home is your home. Really what she's doing is setting up her at-home dick. She's setting up her at-home dick. I think once you realize that you getting a key to the house isn't, isn't, isn't a achievement, like she would have allowed anybody to be there. And that's why you got to be realistic with yourself, my dog. Like, listen to me. When she met you, and that's why you got to be realistic, dog. You not fresh, dog. You not fresh. Your shoes is dirty. Your pants is dingy. Your shirt is, you know what I'm saying? You Like, you not live. You ain't got no haircut. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to be realistic with yourself so that you understand who a bitch is. If you thinking you didn't walk out the house fresh with these old ass soldieries on and these big ass fucking jabos, that red ass shirt that say I'm a hustler on it out the fucking gas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you think that shit fresh, you're not going to understand. You don't really think that, yeah, man, I'm that nigga. That's why the fuck she fucked me because my swag ain't going to turn. Nigga, I'm turn my uh, shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's not an achievement to get a key to that house. She would have gave that to anybody because she don't give a fuck who the dick is attached to. She just need it. No, I just need a warm body. As long as I got a warm body, I'll make the blood come to the penis. You know what I'm saying? That, that ain't no issue. You know what I'm saying? I just want it when I want it, period, point blank. And that's all their mind is on. That's all it's on. My penis. Get it when I want it. That type of shit. And that's why she's paying... She putting she <laughs> dog, it's really fucked up when you think about it. She didn't gave the dick, you know what I'm saying, a way to get to her with the car. She didn't gave the dick a bed, you know what I'm saying? She didn't fed the dick, and this this is how they think. Fed the dick and all that shit like that. This is her dick at this point. And when somebody takes it, because if you look at her reaction, doing you like that in the parking lot. It was like, it was as if you took something from her. That, the way she was whooping your ass, it looked so fucking justified that nobody wanted to even get in. It looked like you stole something from her. You have to understand that what you stole was your dick. Because it's not your dick, it's hers. She paid for that. And, and by the way that she rated you, you was a broke-ass nigga in front of the gas station when she met you. Now you got clothes on your back, you fed, you got money in your pocket, you got a house key, 
And you know what I'm saying? You got a, a, a car you drive from time. Because you drive her car more than she, she don't give a fuck about driving that car. That's what I'm trying to tell you. A nothing ass bitch, she don't give a fuck about going nowhere. The only reason she want to go on a cruise and shit like that is so she can put that shit on Instagram or some shit like that and, and show, I've been somewhere. That hoe don't give a fuck about going no fucking where. The only thing she gives a fuck about is dick. She needs at home dick because she can't be the hoe that she wants to be because she, I don't want everybody to know. Really, she can't be the hoe she wants to be because she don't want She wants the niggas that have seen the reason she's self-conscious, which is her body. Bitches naked body, like when bitches see themselves naked, that's truly how they feel about themselves. When a bitch goes in the mirror before they go in the bathroom, some hoes don't even look in the mirror no more. But as they see themselves, no we no they see exactly what it is. That's why that they, they Give a fuck. These hoes feel like they down here. You know what I'm saying? They so self-conscious about that. But what blows my mind is they're so self-conscious about it, but won't do anything to fix it. Understand, when I say do anything to fix it, some hoes do. That's why you see all the plastic surgery going on, period. But them hoes won't work on it. You know what I'm saying? Exercise is what I mean. But they don't want everybody to be able to say, oh, look at her sagging titties, big ass stomach. You know what I'm saying? The hoe is not sexy when she's naked. The hoe is only sexy when she's on her stomach. You know what I'm saying? You got, because you can put her stomach in the bed, put down her stomach and just, you know what I'm saying? Fuck the hoe, whatever like that. You ain't got to see all that shit. And um, you got to, excuse me, I just had a flashback of a fine ass bitch. I wish I could say this whole name. This hoe had a perfect fucking body. I'm hitting her from the back. And I, I, I was I was about 23 at this time. All I can think of, like, dog, my niggas should see this shit. This whole, her fucking, that, that, that split down her back, ass, just everything was fucking perfect. It was perfect. That's, that's where my mind just went. But I wanted someone else to witness, you know what I'm saying, like how fine this whole was and shit like that. But I was, I was dope to fuck off. Um... I guess I could have recorded it. But that self-consciousness, it, it runs deep, dog. It runs very fucking deep. And it fucks them up to the point where when they get cheated on, not if, when they get cheated on, one thing about you nothing ass hoes, that low self that low self-esteem that you have for yourself, it rubs off on the niggas that you're around. They they feel what you feel about you, and that's why they feel the way they feel about you. Like, you kind of project it onto them. They can tell how you feel about yourself. They can sense it. It's just a sense. And that's why no matter what fucking relationship you jump to, every dude does the same thing because it's not them. It's you projecting how you feel about yourself onto them, therefore they must treat you exactly how you see you. Does that make sense? A lot of you, a lot of you bitches don't understand why you continue getting the same results in all these different relationships that you go into. You think that you've changed things. You think that, all right, I know not to do this. I know not to do that. But you haven't changed shit. Do you understand, like, you, you swear to God that you've changed, but you won't do something as simple as change your eating habits? You will not start to exercise. And that's one of the first signs that... You're dealing with a nothing ass bitch. If the bitch doesn't work out, she doesn't care about herself enough to work out. Cause there's there's time. They don't let a hoe tell you I ain't got no time. Just like a hoe can't tell you the, the reason I wear weave is cause I don't got time to do my hair. Cause that's that's the same hoe that'll tell you I don't got time to take a bath after we fuck. I don't got time to you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, clean my pussy more often when I, I'm on my period. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let them hoes tell you shit about time. Bad bitches and bitches who care about themselves. No, bad women 
and women who care about themselves understand that they're women. They are different than men. The things that they may have to take longer on, they'll get. That means I may have to wake up an hour earlier, you know what I'm saying, to do this. But this is mine. This is what makes me. You know what I'm saying? And it's not easy to find women like that. And this is why I implore you to activate and execute the three S's as soon as possible. The longer you wait, the harder it's going to be. This man right here in this situation right here. If you don't, if you don't take the hit now, you're going to have, you're, you're not going to, listen to me, you're not going to come up. No matter how much money she gives you and shit like that, you never going to come up. She's not going to allow it. Your surroundings decide on whether or not, you know what I'm saying, you go to the next level. Your surroundings, that energy that she has is not an energy of progression. She has an energy of stagnation. It's not going to move. Right here, I'm going to she's going to continue to make problems so that you stay right here no matter how much you try to explain to her that this right here is going she's not going to hear it because obviously she's already lost respect for you. Once respect is lost, it's time to go. And I'm talking to men and women. Once respect is lost, it's time to go. She's going to be doing this to someone else six months from now and six months from then and six months from then. The only difference is, will it be you? Yes, you're going to be broke. You're not going to have nothing once you leave. You're going to be homeless probably. But at least then, you will be the captain of your destiny. Everything you get from that point forward will be all you. You're going to have to make the first step. You're going to have to make the first 10 steps. But the longer you stay in that motherfucker, is the more steps you're going to add. Your plan has failed already. She can tell that you're using her. It's over. It's over. She don't love you. You don't love her. She don't fuck. That, that's not love. That, that, that's, that's, she's destroying you. Look at this. That, that's not love. She doesn't even respect you. How can she love you? You're nothing more than a body attached to a dick to her. What I'm explaining to you is, if you have a mind and you do have any type of goals, leave now. You will be broke. It will be hard. It will be embarrassing. But... For you, it can't be more embarrassed. Like, how, how, how much farther can you fall? The, the thing is, it's a lot of y'all in this same fucking situation right now. You know that your bitch is the reason why you're, you know what I'm saying? She has control. And that should never be the case. A bitch should never have control of anything if there's a man present. If she by herself, whatever like that, that's what it is. But if you're around, you control everything. Listen to me. If it's if if you're if if your mom wants to go out to eat or go to a movie, you ask, you know what I'm saying, what all that stuff like that, but you supposed to drive the car. You supposed to, you know what I'm saying, make like it's as a man, you're supposed to lead a female. If you can't do that, you need to work on you. And then come back. There should be no you should never be in that situation. It can never work because it's already offset. It's a, um, what's the word? Uh, uh, an improper fraction. It's never going to work. It has to be, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's all it is to it. This is sad to see, but a lot of y'all are in this situation. And it's on you if you want to continue going down that road. Or maybe it's going to be you next time. Going viral for getting beat up by your bitch. Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco. Make sure you hit the PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute.
Love.